Thank you so much for having me. Peace one day. My name is Julia Jackson, and I'm founder of Grounded.org, an environmental organization that works on conservation, biodiversity preservation, supporting frontline indigenous communities, and environmental legislation um, to invoke uh, legal matters like the rights of nature and also support Stop Ecocide International. When the fires hit in 2017, the Tubbs fire, it was $9 billion worth of damage to my community. And it was really devastating to see it firsthand. Um, that's when I really had a wake-up call that the climate crisis is right here and right now. It's not an existential threat that's 200 years away, 100 years away. It's literally happening right now. And then fast forward, I lost my home in the Kincaid fire, and I lost everything in that fire. And so really experiencing the climate crisis personally and firsthand really moved me in a way. It's hard to put into words how I was moved, but this became my lifelong mission, finding solutions so that others don't have to go through this, the severe loss that I went through losing my home to the Cape Cape fire. So Ecocide is a legislative framework that basically is seeking to make the mass destruction of the environment an international crime in the international criminal court up with war crimes, genocide. And so right now, I'm the chair of the U.S. Allies to Stop Ecocide, and we need to fast track stopping Ecocide into the ICC so that humanity has a guardrail protection, because right now it's not a crime to destroy the Amazon. Right now it's not a crime to destroy old growth forests or carbon sinks in our oceans. Um, and there's many destructive extractive industries that aren't being kept in check. So I really believe in stopping ecocide as a crime that should be the fifth crime against peace through the ICC, because then we'll stop losing 80,000 acres of forests a day and really manage to keep our bio biosphere intact and healthy for generations to come. So that's Ecocide. It's uh, a legal punitive uh, framework that seeks to make destroying the earth an international crime. Peace Day is incredibly important to me because it's a basic human right and environmental justice, climate, the climate crisis is inextricably linked with peace. And so in order to achieve world peace, we have to recognize that how we treat each other, how we treat the planet right now currently through business as usual is not conducive to global peace. They're predicting in the next uh, 20 to 30 years, we're going to have hundreds of millions of climate refugees on the move. And we could barely deal with, I think it was 7 million climate refugees from Syria that were on the move through drought and also geopolitical stressors from Syria. So we really need to make turning the climate crisis into a major goal if we want to achieve world peace. And world peace is, an, is a, an inherent human right that is within all of us. I think of peace as being grounded to the earth, being grounded in your community, with your friends, um, and feeling a sense of peace. And when I'm out in nature, that's when I really feel at peace. Uh, or with when I'm with my community, that's when I feel at peace. Um, so peace is incredibly important. It's about equilibrium, balance. It's about being one in harmony with nature. Um, and we need to recognize that we are not um, separate from nature. We are nature. Um, and that ultimately is peace. I'd say that the moments I'm most at peace involve transcendental meditation. I meditate twice a day 
sometimes I meditate out in nature, it really is helpful for me to keep my my brain coherent because working on the climate crisis is very hard work. It's very emotionally taxing. It's a very dire situation. And so I think being in this movement, self-care is incredibly important. And so I think that the moments where I feel the most at peace involve when I'm deep in meditation. Um, and also I'd say when I'm with my little nephews and my niece. Peace and sustainability are inextricably linked. I would say that beyond sustainability, peace and regeneration are inextricably linked because we need to regenerate our mindsets. We need to regenerate our economic system. We need to regenerate our own health and well-being. We need to regenerate the earth. Um, and until, until we do that, we will not achieve world peace. My hope for the future is that we will scale climate solutions in time to mitigate the worst impacts of the climate crisis. Currently, we are emitting um, 37 billion tons of CO2 per year into the atmosphere, and those greenhouse gases are being trapped. And so we have to convert to renewable energy infrastructure immediately to get off of fossil fuels and stop methane, nitrous oxide, HFCs, other potent greenhouse gases from continuing to accumulate into the atmosphere. But we also have to draw those emissions down. And so my fear is that we are not scaling solutions fast enough in order to draw down atmospheric carbon at the rate we need to, to uh, preserve a livable earth and a healthy biosphere for um, my nephew's generation, um, my niece's generation, even my generation, I'm a millennial, um, we really only have seven years to turn around the climate crisis. So I'd say my biggest fear is that we don't step up to the plate and, and scale climate solutions in time. Um, my biggest hope for the future is that people really are starting to come together and create community. There's so many amazing solutionists out there working on climate solutions, whether it be re regenerative agriculture, um, planting mangroves and, and supporting uh, carbon sinks in our oceans, um, supporting marine protected areas, scaling up uh, protection of indigenous land, um, carbon capturing technologies, uh, Earth-based solutions, uh, a circular economy. There's so many solutions out there that we can scale to um, stop further emissions from going up into the atmosphere and um, draw down current emissions in the atmosphere. So I'd say my hope is that humanity wakes up in time. Making large and systemic destruction of nat nature and international crime through the ICC is going to take the masses. Um, so to really get behind making this an international crime, just spreading the, the term ecocide is incredibly helpful. The more that the masses know what stopping ecocide is, the faster we can get it as a crime against peace into the International Criminal Court. Please go to uh, Stop Ecocide International website and sign up to become an earth protector. Um, spread it amongst your friends, your colleagues. Uh, get the term ecocide out there. Mm -hmm.